Hi, how you doing today? I'm doing all right, sir. What can I help you? I'm with? I'm very interested in uh, that Nintendo game there. Oh, oh awesome! awesome. That out over there. Th thanks for coming to the con and, and, and checking out my old video games. Uh, oh, yeah, there no problem at all. All right. Oh wow, Zelda. Oh my God, I've wanted that game for a, quite a while. All right. Some people may have heard. There's there's this convention in the in the state of Oklahoma. Sounds like super shit con. It was interrupted by a tornado. And the way I see it is a con is like a business. It, it, it has risk. As a vendor, when we're coming, we're, we're paying for these tables, we're paying for travel, we're spending hundreds if not a thousand dollars to get there. We gotta eat, hotel, all this, you know, hookers, whatever. Whatever we fucking pay for, it costs money. When we get there and we pay for these tables, we expect a service in return. And that is to sell our old video games and try to recoup some of this money and have a good time. This, this super shit con was interrupted by a tornado on Saturday. They canceled the con. You would think any businessman he wants to keep in business, he would, he would kindly offer his sympathy and, and, and anything, you know, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, uh, how much is it, dude? It's uh, 27. 27? You know, I drove all the way from Cincinnati here. 12 hours to get here. I, I was looking for this game. Are you serious? I would love to buy this. 25 I'll tell you days. what, I, I'll, give, I'll even do it for 25. 25? I hope you enjoy it. Oh my God. I hope you enjoy Thank it. You. I, as a customer, I, I, I truly appreciate your business. A absolutely, man. Yeah. Yes. We understand your business stuff happens. You're in the middle of Oklahoma, so you're in tornado motherfucking alley. So you would figure you'd have an insurance policy to cover natural disasters, because it's evident it could happen. So, they have an insurance policy, or they claim they do, I don't think they did, that if they were to close the con, they would get all of their money back, yada yada yada. They did choose to stay open Sunday. They didn't know that they were going to be open Sunday until Sunday morning, probably a, a half an hour, an hour. Was that When did they know that it was going to be open Sunday? I, I, may, I, I don't know. I, I honestly, I can't remember. But, but basically, they were going to have the convention later hours. So, they're going to have it from like 8 to 8. So, vendors could recoup their money if anyone would come. And even if the electric was on, nobody new. So, we live in Cincinnati, that's in Oklahoma, so we're driving all this way in anticipation of a Saturday, Sunday show and leaving at 2 o'clock or whatnot to get home because we work full-time jobs. There was no guarantee, there was no guarantee anyone was going to be there, but they decided to keep the convention running, which I can see both points of view. We get nothing back though. They don't offer half back, nothing. They just want to keep all the money. We drove 12 hours. 12 hours to sell games and didn't get to sell one game because the con was closed, canceled, whatever. They could have rented generators to get the electric on. There's many things they could have did, but they chose not to. And we suffer the consequences because when I ask for a refund, these cock smooches won't give me my money back. The only thing is, yeah, yeah. whenever you buy a game from us, okay. you have to you have to sign a contract. A here. contract? Yeah, just you know, just oh. a contract saying you're buying the game from me. No big deal. Uh, what's the contract for? Oh, you know, just saying you're buying this game and you know you're you're gonna enjoy. Do it. I need to read the fine print? Uh, most people don't, but you know. Oh, I whatever. won't read the fine. I trust you. Thank because you. you look reputable. Thank you. No, no problem at all. Let me sign this. All right, let me just put my John Hancock here because I really, really want this game. I'm so happy. What? what? What's, what's this Vaseline here for? That's not how business, it's, it's not how it goes. So all I'm saying is if, if I get 100 people to watch this video and three of you stop going or don't go to Super Shit Con next year and they lose 30 bucks, I'm a happy camper. You won't be seeing my ass there. Tell, tell them how anyone could walk in and steal our shit. Not to mention, when we have our game set up, we set up Friday night to be ready Saturday. Our games were right by a big giant garage door, okay? We get there, this door wide open, nobody around. Anybody and their grandma in a fucking wheelchair could have rolled right in that bitch and stole all of our dusty old video games. He doesn't think it's, are you on? Yeah. All right, so we're here at Super Big Con. Doors are wide open. Anyone and everyone can walk in. We walk in, all of our stuff here, blankets lifted up. They could just steal whatever they wanted. It's like free game right now. Look, right over there. Just any, anybody and everybody can walk up in here. It's not cool. The one thing in life I don't like is a theft. I don't like when someone steals my stuff. <laughs> it's not working. Oh, oh my God. Oh. <laughs> Zelda! 
All right, let's play this bitch. <laughs> this is great. So last year they sent out an email saying thanking the vendors, all the support, everything. This year we didn't get a fucking email because they know they're being fucking dirty. So if four people don't go, I'm a fucking <laughs> Buzzy finish me off. <laughs> so these Ocean's Eleven motherfuckers, <laughs> if I sold you a video game and made you sign a contract because when I asked for a refund, he says, oh, it states clearly in the contract you sign, no refunds whatsoever. So if I'm selling you a video game for say, I don't know, $175 and make you sign a contract with all this fine print, okay, you get home, the game doesn't save. What do you do? You say, hey, this game's broken. You paid for a service, you're not getting it. Or you paid for a product, you're not getting it. What would I do as a businessman? I would say, oh, I'm sorry, how about a refund? How about you ship that game back, I ship you another game. Something along those lines. Something to make the customer happy. What do these schmucks do? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. So you guys tell me, what's your opinion? I can't fucking put I'm at level motherfucking four halfway through the game. What the fuck? This piece of shit. Don't fucking... You're fucking working! You piece of shit! Motherfucker! You piece of shit! I drove 12 fucking... You motherfucker! Well, I'm taking this back to fucking gay graphics! Looks like it got hit by a fucking tornado, that bastard piece of shit! Wait, would you offer a discount? Would you offer free tables the following year? Would you say... Um, you know, would you would you be a, a fuck stain like them and tell tell me I'm, I'm shit out of luck? Cause that, I mean, that's basically what they did. And, and and their response to all of this, we had a, a meeting as as a committee, and um, if if we we if we gave you your money back, we wouldn't be able to have a con next year to make fifteen grand. <laughs> okay, well, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I drove. 12 hours here, and I had to drive all the way back. It was like 30 hours of driving. I know, I know you're a good, good business. I, I gotta return this. It's a little cracked, and it. I played. The, I got halfway through the game, so I really only got half of what I was expecting. Is there any way I could get maybe half my money back or a replacement? Just, just something so you could just make the customer happy. Just anything, man. Uh, let, let me, let me talk to my, my, my uh, partner here. Oh, absolutely. Hey, hey, Gay Rod. This guy has a broken game. What do you what what should, what should we do? Tell him to go fuck himself. What was wait? What? Tell him to go fuck himself. <laughs> what? What? <are> you, <laughs> this isn't fair. Sir, I, I I honestly I don't I don't know what to tell you. The only thing I can tell you is is because you signed a contract that that <laughs> says. No refunds whatsoever. You told me not to read the fine print, you fuck uh, face! You know, I appreciate you spent your hard earned dollars on this game, but unfortunately, for me to stay in business, I, I can't give you a refund. What? I need to make more money. What do you what do you mean you need to make more money? This isn't fair, you fucker! I, I, I'll tell you what, the best I can do is just send you home with that. I don't want the fucking Vaseline bitch! I want my money back! Next customer, we uh, got me. You know what? We got Zelda. You know what? I'm never going to your convention ever again, you fucking pussy pounding fat fucker. <laughs> All right, well, I guess you can just leave your game here. I'll just fucking resell it. What do you think about that, Jared? Oh, I'm done. Oh, we really fucked that guy. I'm done. Fuck you. There's a nighter coming. Oh, there's a nighter. Choo choo. Would you believe you're in Oklahoma and there's a tornado in coming? April. That's what you do, you just go straight for the guest now?